If you walk into a movie theatre and browse through the current releases, chances are one of them will be a remake. Remakes are everywhere these days. Major Hollywood studios have developed an uninspiring knack of taking an older movie, throwing $100 million at it as a quicker and easier way to turn a profit. However, every now and again a remake proves to be better than the original. While we prefer 100% originality in movies, we don't complain when a director revives a dated flick and breathes new life into it. Here are seven that did just that, managing to improve on the originals in the process. Only a horror master like John Carpenter could get away with remaking a classic horror movie. Simply call it the thing and make it a masterpiece. Because that's the thing about the thing. It's difficult to watch Kurt Russell taking on a terrifying extraterrestrial without being simultaneously repulsed and amazed. When the movie came out in 1982, people hated it and it hit Carpenter hard. The studio wanted a crowd pleaser like Alien or Spielberg's Close Encounters of a Third Kind. What they got, even though they didn't realise it at the time, was much better. Scarface is one of the most iconic films of all time. Al Pacino, cocaine, guns, people love it and for good reason. However, ask 10 people to tell you anything about the original, they'd probably throw their beverage at you and run for the hills. You see, Howard Hawks' 1932 original was vastly different. It was set in Chicago and the word cocaine is nowhere to be found on its Wikipedia page. Scarface in the 30s was hailed as a masterpiece, but we still prefer the coke fueled machine gun toting madness of Pacino and his Miami empire. What's the greatest thing about the Ocean's Eleven remake? Is it the fact that Brad Pitt's character is eating something in every single scene? Is it that one of the greatest casts ever assembled were collectively on top of their games? Or was it that it made you want to move to Vegas just to piss off a casino owner like Andy Garcia? How about all of them? Yes, Steven Soderbergh's 2001 update of the 1960 Rat Pack original is so fast-paced, witty and effortlessly cool that we don't give out much hope for the Jennifer Lawrence-fronted, female-centric reboot that's in the offing. We're disappointed with how director James Mangold's career has went lately. Ten years ago, he was fresh off making the greatest music biopic of all time. In your face, James Fox as Ray Charles with Walk the Line and decided to resurrect the 1957 western 310 to Yuma. Injecting a blistering pace and brutal tone, the Yuma remake reminded a 2007 Hollywood that a well-made western was a hell of a lot better than most other things. It also had Batman and Gladiator in it, which is always going to work in your favour. 21 Jump Street was the 80s television series that gave Johnny Depp his big break. But like most police procedurals from that era, it's seriously dated. Except for Magnum P.I., we could watch Tom Selleck's moustache all day. Anyway, it was in need of an update and Phil Lord and Chris Miller definitely gave us one to remember. They worked wonders with the pairing of Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum and the remake's glorious mix of action and comedy makes us pretty certain Lord and Miller are the right guys for the young Han Solo movie. As for Jenko and Schmidt, 22 Jump Street managed to improve on its predecessor and it now faces a rather strange future with Sony embarking on a crossover with Men in Black. We'll see how that goes. Martin Scorsese took the excellent 2002 Hong Kong film Infernal Affairs and shipped up to Boston, producing one of the most ridiculously entertaining gangster films of all time. It's even better than Goodfellas. Well, not really, but it is close. Like Ocean's Eleven, the winning formula here was an immensely talented cast, hitting us with an Alec Baldwin who hates fitness freaks, to a Mark Wahlberg who can try but will never better his acid-tongued Sergeant Dignam. There also happens to be Leonardo DiCaprio, Matt Damon and Jack Nicholson, and they're not too shabby either. 
The Departed was an instant classic that kept Scorsese's streak alive of making one masterpiece per decade. We're still waiting on this decade. John Wayne won an Oscar for his role as Rooster Cogburn in the 1969 original, but we're sorry Duke, Jeff Bridges wins this one, even if his only Oscar came for the forgettable drama Crazy Heart. Bridges delivered the most gloriously incomprehensible performance as the whiskey-guzzling, trigger-happy lawman, helping 14-year-old Matty Ross find outlaw Tom Cheney who murdered her father. The Coens fine-tuned this revisionist western to make it one of their most accessible and crowd-pleasing films to date, helping it eclipse the original. Who knew the dude could be a man with true grit? That eye patch really tied the film together too. So that's our list of seven remakes that we feel are much better than the original. Remakes get a bad rap in Hollywood and for the most part it's thoroughly deserved. We're living in an age of remakes, reboots, prequels and sequels. And for every old boy there's a Scarface. For every Clash of the Titans there's, well, anything's better than that to be honest. If you like this list, make sure to give us a thumbs up because we need the ego boost and remember to click the subscribe button so you can soon disagree with more of our lists.